video, the number one most dangerous prescription in the world for your kidneys and how to avoid it. Catherine here, if you follow me here regularly, you probably already know that there are so many medications that people take every day that are very bad for the kidneys. This is why I always tell you to be very careful with what you keep in your bathroom cabinet. On the road to a better kidney health, there are so many bumps we need to avoid and one of the most dangerous is taking the wrong medications. Because all of our efforts to protect and improve the health of our kidneys may be instantly frustrated by certain kidney damaging prescriptions. And we are talking about some very common medications here. So question, what common medications can do serious damage to the kidneys? Some of the worst offenders include NSAIDs such as aspirin, ibuprofen, nafroxen. They can damage the kidneys very fast because they are nephrotoxic, they have direct toxic effects on the kidney cells. And also, hypertension medications, especially ACE inhibitors such as lisinopril and olipril and ARBs, or sardan such as losardan, volsardan, and so on. These are very controversial today because while they are supposed to protect the kidneys, recent studies found out that the damage they do is basically on par with their kidney protecting ability, especially in people with advanced kidney disease. ACE I and ARBs are known to cause decreased blood flow to the kidneys and high potassium levels. And when combined with NSAIDs or diuretics, or when the patient is dehydrated, they can also cause acute kidney injury or very fast damage to the kidneys. Also very dangerous. Diuretics such as chlorthaludon and indapamide may also be dangerous because they may cause dehydration. Contrast dyes can also be dangerous. These are used in contrast MRIs and other procedures and can cause kidney damage in people with pre-existing kidney disease. Then there are product pumps inhibitors such as omeprazole that are used to treat acid reflux. They have been linked to increased risk of CKD and acute kidney injury. Yes, you should be very careful with the medications you take every day, especially if you have kidney problems. Now guys, while you may think this is bad already, there is one common prescription that's way worse than any of this. In a study published on the British Journal of Clinical Pharmacology, researchers analyzed 38,782 cases of adverse reactions to prescription and isolated the cases in which the kidneys were damaged. What they found out is shocking. There is one class of medications that is worse than any of these. It causes one third of all the cases of acute kidney injury. What this means is that you really don't want to take this medication. So question, what are the worst of the worst? Now this study is very interesting because they outline some of the worst medications ever. I'm not talking about classes of forms but single medications. So let's see very briefly what medications your doctor should never ever prescribe you. We have two diuretics here, spinorolactone sold as carospir or aldactone and iblerinone sold as inspra. These have a reporting odds ratio higher than 10, meaning that they are 10 times more likely to cause kidney damage than the average medication. Scary! Make sure you are not taking them. Other medications with the ROR higher than 10, so very dangerous, include, unfortunately, an antihypertension medication, which is Condesartan, sold as Atacan. This is an ARB, so in theory, it should be helpful for people with CKD, which makes it even scarier because it is more than 10 times more likely than average to cause acute kidney injury. Make sure you are not taking Condesartan. There are three other medications with a ROR higher than 10, cisplatin and aciclovir, which are not very common, luckily. And then there is our very dangerous number one for today. The worst medication in the world for the kidneys. Which is... 
Gentamicin. Gentamicin is an antibiotic and it's extremely bad for the kidneys. Antibiotics, as I was saying, are the most frequent cause of acute kidney injury when it comes to medications. They are reported to be implicated in 29.5% of the cases of acute kidney injury, followed by diuretics at 18.5%, ARBs and ACEs at 16.3%, and then antineoplastic agents and anti-inflammatory agents. So yeah, taking antibiotics in general and gentamicin, but also amoxicillin and vancomycin in particular, may be the worst thing ever for the kidneys. So now you may ask, why are doctors still prescribing these medications every day if they are so bad for the kidneys? Because you see, the study we have seen today was made with one purpose in mind, discourage doctors from prescribing these most dangerous medications. But it's clear that many of these are still commonly used today. At this point, some people will tell you that doctors are either incompetent for giving you these medications or even worse, corrupt. And unfortunately, there is a case to be made that could sustain this hypothesis. Because you see, a recent study found out that at least 30% of antibiotics prescribed in US are unnecessary. So one every three prescriptions of antibiotics is unnecessary. Meaning that a lot of people out there are damaging their kidneys without a reason. But you see, it's clear that not all doctors are bad. And while overprescription is a serious issue, we must understand that each time a doctor prescribes a medication, they make a careful evaluation of the benefits and risks. So question, how can you make sure you don't need these dangerous medications? Today, medical science is evolving and the way certain issues are being addressed is changing. There are nephrologists today that are stopping, for example, to give patients ACE inhibitors and ARBs because they do more harm than good. If you want to learn more about this, by the way, in my video up here you will find a lot of info about it. And yes, doctors are supposed to balance the potential side effects with the effectiveness of the medication each time they prescribe something. Gentamicin is a clear example of that. This is a very powerful and dangerous antibiotic. And I bet that most of you guys never heard about it because it's something that's only used in very serious situations when everything else failed. Now guys, antibiotics are prescribed for a multitude of reasons, but when it comes to people with kidney disease, there is a reason that's way more common than anything else. Most kidney disease patients that need antibiotics need them for UTIs. So you may be interested in knowing that there is a way to get rid of UTIs without taking kidney damaging antibiotics. I've made a full video about it. It's up here and this is all for today. Thank you for watching. God bless you all.